When you make a medical presentation, you may be required to present anatomy slides like this where you need to explain parts of the body. For example, here I start by saying, let us explore three parts of a human body. Then I click on the first part, explain the slide, click again and it takes me back to the orientation picture. Then I click on the next part, explain, go back to the main picture. Click to the next part, explain and go back to the main picture. So this is the fundamental construct of this idea. While this idea in itself is quite interesting to make your presentations far more engaging than just presenting a list of slides, this goes to the next level when you make it into a make your own adventure kind of a presentation. For example, when I click on heart, instead of clicking and going back to the main page, if I say, now we have understood how heart functions, now let us go deeper into understanding the various parts of the heart and I go to the next slide where I have this kind of a branching scenario. I say heart has various parts. Let us understand one of the parts which is ventricle. I explain ventricle, click back and it takes me back to this page and I go further down. I talk about pulmonary branches, click again, go to the same page and then go to aorta, explain and go back to the same page. And once I am done explaining this, I can click here which takes me back to the original page. And the best part is, it is very easy to set up this kind of a structure. I'll show you how to do the basic one first and then I'll show you how to layer the inner layers of your presentation. So if you are someone who needs to make any kind of a technical presentation or any presentation where you need a branching scenario, then this could be a very useful technique for you. For example, if you are a history teacher, then you could present a timeline in the same fashion where each year can be further explored for the various events that happened during that time. And if you are a geography teacher, you can present a map this way where different parts of the map are connected like this. So this idea is very versatile for any kind of teaching presentation. So please watch this till the end. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you are a doctor, a nurse, consultant, researcher or anyone who needs to make medical presentations, then please join this 5-day free training on creative techniques to improve the clarity of your medical presentations. The link is in the description box below. Remember, it's a free course and there is a lot of value packed in this 5-day free training. The first thing you need to create this presentation is the orientation picture. You will then build slides to explain the various parts of this orientation picture. In our case, I chose to build slides on three parts of the body, which are brain, heart and kidneys. And of course, this is a very simple way to construct the slide. Here is a picture and we have three bullet points talking about the functionality of the different parts of the body. The main thing here is you need to add some kind of a border. It's very simple to create this border. All you need to do is to go to shapes and then in basic shapes you will find this option here called frame. You just need to click on the one corner of the slide and then make sure that it covers the entire slide like this and then use this yellow handle to decide how much width you want for the frame and then you can always choose the color that you want and remove outline and we have a beautiful border. The reason why we want the border is when we place snapshots of these slides around this orientation picture, then you need to have some kind of a framing so the structure becomes obvious. Now that we have got our orientation slide and the three explanation slides for the individual parts of the picture, we then insert slide zoom. For that, let us go to the main orientation picture, then go to insert, go to zoom and here you have this option called slide zoom. You click on it. Then choose the slides that you want to have a snapshot of on the orientation slide. I'm going to check the second, third and the fourth slides and say insert. Now you can see we have instances of these slides right now on our orientation picture. Now I just need to move it to the relevant places so I can point my slides to the relevant parts of the body. You can do so using very simple shapes like say arrow, these are all basic details. You don't really have to spend too much time thinking about what specific things that I need to choose. Let me choose a red arrow and have a white outline so it clearly shows. Now do the same thing to point the various slides to the relevant places. Now once this is done, we need to do the next step which is to connect them back to this main slide after you go to these individual slides. For that, we need to select each slide at a time. Go to zoom which is a contextual tab. Click on it and then go to this option here called return to zoom and this is a very important thing. Do the same thing for this one as well, return to zoom and for this slide, return to zoom. 
That's all. You now have a one level broad branching. When I go to slideshow, I click on the first one. I give my explanation, click again, and it takes me back to the original picture because we have checked on return to zoom option. It works for every one of these as well. Next, I'll show you how to set up the branching scenario. Before I do that, if you are liking this video, please give this video a like and leave some comment so YouTube realizes that this is a useful video for you and therefore starts recommending to other people as well. Now the next step is to decide where exactly you want to have further branches. In this case, I want to have further branches for heart. So I'm going to add a few explanation slides that go deeper into the various parts of the heart. If you see, this is the slide of the heart. This gives the bigger picture. Right next to it, I've created an orientation slide which goes deeper into the various parts of the heart. You can see that each of these are slide zooms for these individual slides. How did I set up this? It's very simple. Let me first delete these so you can understand how I did this. I went to insert, zoom, slide zoom, and then for this particular slide, I'm going to have this checked, this checked, and this checked. That is five, six, and seven slides are checked. And I'm going to say insert. Now you can see that I have these small instances of these various slides. I just need to place them in the right place and then follow the exact same process as we did earlier, which is select the individual slide zooms and then go to zoom and click on return to zoom option so that we are able to get back to this page when we click on these individual slide zooms. So when I go to slideshow, click here, explain, click and get back to this page. So it is exactly the same thing. Whatever that we did earlier, we are just repeating to create this substructure. But then there is a small trick. Now, if I go to the main picture, you would see that when I click here, it goes to this slide. And it is set up in such a way that when I click here, it takes me back to this main slide. We don't want that. So when I know that there is further branching for a particular slide zoom, I'm going to remove this return to zoom option. So this is the main page. I click on this, go to zoom and uncheck this return to zoom option. So what does it do? When I click on this, it takes me to this slide, no doubt. But when I click, it takes me to the next slide in the sequence, which is this. And here I can go further and I would be able to explain this in detail. And once it is done, we need a way for us to take this back to the main picture. How do you do that? Let me show you. It's very simple. Let me delete this. Let me insert any shape. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I've taken a simple isosceles triangle and then I have placed it in the corner like so. I have chosen red color, no outline. And then I have rotated this like this and I've kept it here. And I'm going to link this back to the main slide. How? I can right click on this, go to link and go to this option here called place in this document. And then when I click on each of these, I can see a preview. And this first slide is the one where I want the connection to go to. So I'm going to select the first slide and say, okay. Now, when I go to slideshow, when I click on this, it takes me back to the main slide. And of course, these ones can be explained the way that I did earlier. And if you want to have branching scenarios for this, naturally you will remove the return to zoom option. And then after the branching scenario finishes from the last slide, you will connect back to this main page as I did for this one. And there is nothing that prevents you from adding further and further branches and make this presentation into a choose your adventure kind of a presentation. If you are a medical professional who needs to make a lot of medical presentations, then we have the right product for you. It is called Medical Presentations Bundle. It is a bundle of 900 animated PowerPoint templates that are rightly suited for your medical presentations. And there is a full length training program that shows you how to visualize your ideas and how to use the templates to make your presentations engaging and interactive. And we have given full details about this product in this video. You click the link in the description box below the video and explore more about this medical presentations bundle and see how this can change the way you create your medical presentations. And if you like this tutorial, then we have an entire playlist for you that shows you different ways to improve your medical slides. I will leave a link to that playlist right now on your screen. You can click on the link and watch this series next. I'll see you inside that series.